Hello internet people, my name is Ryan and today we are playing Fallout 4. Aw oh, thanks game! Right on cue! War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Oh my goodness. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. What a strapping young man. And what a incredibly hairless beard I have. I'm talking about the lady and not the very disappointing hairs on my chinny chin chin. Big guy. Oh, I guess I could be the lady. Let me just slide in here. <laughs> I really like this character creator. Alright. Oh, black people and white people, they don't mix. It's Asian people and white people, they don't mix either. Oh, God. Oh, God. These preset faces are all so great. Okay, so we can be a guy from Skyrim. We could be a guy from GTA San Andreas. Or we could be a guy from Fallout 3. Or we could be Raja. Let's find a preset that is ugly. And let's just change the hair. Math teacher. Oh man, no thanks. I want, I want, I want the most fantastic fucking hair. No, not Fabio. All right. I like the Rene uh, Aubergeonois. Is that how you pronounce that? Probably not. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, can you change the color? Oh, there you go. Cool brown. <laughs> cool brown. There's nothing cool about that color at all. 
This jet black thing looks kind of blue, but that just might be the terrible lighting in here. Nice haircut. Ah, uh, thanks. Let's turn up the jowls. Super jowls. Well, hello, handsome. <laughs> I really like all of the <laughs> all of these facial hair things that use actual 3D models. <laughs> Cause it looks like tiny little twigs stuck to my face. All right, I will arrange my twigs in a caterpillar shape. Ooh, mustache. Very cool. <laughs> she hates it. Perfect. Why can I change the style of neck? Muscly neck. <laughs> neck with a rash. You have such strong cheekbones. I have strong jowls, my dear. Strong jowls. Pay attention. Extras? What are extras? Markings? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, why do I have leprosy all of a sudden? Oh my god. <laughs> These are fucking horrible! Look at this! Oh, can I apply, uh, ex can I apply lots of these? Can I just give myself everything? God, I look like one of those really horrible things that happen to, like, someone in India because the sample size in India for people who have terrible things is just really large because there's so many people there. So one person's bound to get every terrible thing on their face? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is this possible? Ah, it's so awful. You know, I really should have thought ahead when... I was giving myself, I don't know, fucking AIDS. So I, I knew I, I knew that I'd have to go back and just turn it all off. Excuse me, L excuse me, wife, but I need to decide what shape my body is. Could you look away for a moment? All right, Uncle Roy is ready. I can't fucking deal with this facial hair. <laughs> it's killing me. All right, all right, all right. I wasn't sure, but I like the beard. I like it too. This is much better. This one requires a daily effort, which is the sort of thing that's very appropriate for the wasteland. Alright, I think I'm done, but I have no idea what the fuck that button is. Start, I guess? Sure. Alright. Hello, Nora. Man, Nora, you sure have a delightfully shaped butt. Barber scissors, very appropriate considering how much my hair has changed in the last three minutes. How do I turn it up? There's a man closet. <laughs> Lube, hammer. Four cans specifically, and whatever this is, classic formula, M mustard, must be. I don't know why we were leaving that open. Hello. Hello, infant child. How are you today? Good, good to hear. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks. That looks like a Grognak comic, not a newspaper. Oh wait, the newspaper is just right over there. I'm glad that I drank that coffee by bending over and putting my face in it and slurping loudly. Oh, 
You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. Hun. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, need to finish making Sean's costume. Hmm. More the same. A Braxo for all your cleaning it's needs. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Oh, a bunch of people come for me every day. Hey yo. Hi. Good morning. Voltec calling. Voltec. Voltec. Remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to oh, finally speak to you. Oh, he just fucking you. hates his job. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. Just look, at, it, look at his face. He hates it. He just, like, wants to die. And apparently I want to kill him. Well, I'm here now. I'm here now. So you are. So you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today. Maybe to if he talks with his hands enough, we can't see how dead his soul country, is through his eyes. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Is there an office space in Vault One Eleven? But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. I like the idea of me responding with the literal word sarcastic, so I'm going to press that. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> oh man, spirit. main character sarcasm <laughs> is see. really shitty. This isn't a special book at all. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects the number of experience points earned. Duh. Charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter. Duh. Oh, I don't have any points left for anything else. Alright. We'll do this. Strength. Alright, I did it. How come I can't accept it? You must name your character before proceeding. Oh, okay, I can do that. My name is none of your fucking business. Oh, that doesn't fit. My name is Slim Shady. My name is What should my name be? My name is a part of a complete breakfast. My name is Oats. Man. Looks like an Oatsman. Yeah, Oatsman. There we go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. I can, I can handle this. I know how to deal with human child. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. It's a baby, Nora. Not a man. I'm not even 100% sure it's a human baby. Look at how lumpy and awful it is. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? 
Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. That sounds fun. I like parks. Yeah, sounds like fun. It's where I could go scare children with my terrifying face. Codsworth, what's wrong? Twirl my mustache and go. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Hey, Codsworth, We're, uh, trying to get Sir, confirmation. Listen, what? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got some. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Oh my goodness. But but Codsworth We're leaving Codsworth behind! He was so mildly useful to our lives. Hello neighbor. Um hey there. <laughs> um hey. How is it going? You don't get it. I'm going in! You can't stop! Oh, 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 okay, okay! If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. I guess I'm in the program. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Ah, oh, great. Good luck, man. Follow me. Ah. What's gonna happen to all those She's very startled by my face. Now keep moving. Excuse me. This way. Step on the platform! In the center! Oh, this circle is so blue. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, that's... Oh god, that's, that's really bad for the environment. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we no. don't be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Okay. How are you? Excuse me. Up the stairs. Okay. How about you? How are you? Hey there. Just head up the stairs. Okay. We'll take care of everything. All right. This ground's really Please fucking slippery and it's leaking. What's going on? Got a lot to do to get you oriented. Is here for you. Here. Right over there. Here you are. Head down the hall. Good. Welcome home. Step over to the table. Yeah, looks fine. How oh, am everyone is so calm and relaxed? One vault suit. Now just head down the hall. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Each Welcome of you take one, one of these. I'm sure you'll okay. be Okay. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. So what about the wife? Does the wife not get a jumpsuit or it's fine? It's down See? the hallway right there. All right. It's our new home. Oh, you're going to love it here. This is one of our most advanced it's facilities. Our not that the others aren't great. Observing you. Had. My mother and father oh, sorry. Someone. 
How, God, honey, what how long do you think we'll be down here? I know this is a oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get. Just checking day. everyone off the, the list as they come in. Alrighty then. Excuse me. A lot of names to process. Right? I'm glad so many people made it. Do I get in this weird human shaped thing? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Why? Can you let me know why I'm doing doing that, maybe? Take your time. Daddy's right here. We've got all day. See? Okay. Honey. Oh, it's a decontamination pod. I knew that when I came close to it. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. I feel like you could have told me that before forcing me into the pod, but it's fine. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. My vitals ain't goddamn normal. I'm upset. I'm upset that I have to live in this gross ass yellow piece of delightful human engineering. And I knew it was going to be a cryo thing. Ugh. Oh, I hope Nora didn't die. I would be so sad. Hey. No, no, no. Hey. No, no, don't take my... My baby shade lump. No, Nora, no. My life with Nora was so nice. We had a robot butler and a baby. Still not sure it was a human baby. We had a Braxo. I'm free. I can come in. Yeah, she's she's done. Um, never make that an episode of people next time. I imagine we're going to escape this vault. Thanks for watching. We've uploaded something. <laughs>